Let's go. Team of the world. Moo, moo, what are you doing? Woo, woo, we're doing. Woo, hanging out. Moo, moo, but how are you hanging out? Hanging out by doing it. Team of the Oh, this is the Let's go for a walk. Sammy? The end. Sammy, what are you doing, honey? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you don't know what you're doing? Did you know that the, the, my students were here? <laughs> what can you say to them? Hi. All right, and? Bye-bye. Bye. Sorry about that, gang. How's it going? All right. So a little quick lecture for you today. Um, we did um, the uh, live Q&A session earlier today. And I haven't gotten that posted yet. But I will give you some information about that a little bit right now. And then um, I'll get that edited and posted as soon as possible. Um, there's some more updates to the online uh, criteria as far as XP goes. There were some a few questions, particularly around how attendance was going to work. So I think I've got that figured out. And so I've updated the spreadsheet. I'll show you that. Uh, mostly at the QA session, we talked about that and how to do the architecture documents. So ArcDoc, uh, Software Architects, I'll make sure I get that to you as soon as possible. Now I'm going to do a little slide on intro to design patterns. Um, it'll be a quick one today. So um jumping back over here getting out of those slides let's first go to the browser mode go to full camera go back to browser mode and go to all right so let me show you what we're doing here as far as the grading goes so if you if you see here i've now added available before online available after online and uh, how everything is working out so here in the lab attendance you could have earned 6,000 xp before we stopped um permanently ish uh so regardless um there's uh, you can earn up to ten thousand. so if you skip some that's totally fine i think it's still going to work out um the way we're going to do it now is participating in beta testing so when we get to the beta test stuff um what i need you to do is you'll sign up and i'll have all this explained but this is the gist of it you'll do testing of other people's apps so if the other team says yep that person did the beta test then you'll get the 2000 xp for that beta test so you can do two of them for 4000 three of them for 6000 that's the max you can do up to three the the only rule is going to be for the first one it needs to be a different type of project so if you're on quick tutor it would need to be personal dashboard or textbook but i'll have more information about that so i did dump the whole piazza participation thing after one week of this i realized that that's not going to work anyway so yeah let's just Stick with what we think is going to work just fine. The guided practices, the first guided practice has gone well so far. There are about 60 people have submitted it as of my recording right now. So it seems like everything's going fine. The ones I've looked at look good. So happy with all that. The other two, they'll be fine as well. For your team artifacts, no real major changes there. No big deal. Other than some due dates. Uh, team evaluations, you know, we're really going to be looking at these evaluations to make sure everyone is paying attention. Someone's jumping into my lecture here. Do you want to sit on my lap while I give my lecture? Come here. Come here. You can join us. Hi, everyone. This is Sammy. Uh -oh. All right. So a little bit of cuteness right here. So anyway, so for now, you can't make noises. I have to teach. All right. Thank you. You can just look straight ahead and be Sammy. Okay. So. Um, for the team evaluations, we are going to add some questions to it so that you can make sure that, we, that everyone is doing what they need to do and that you have a chance to rate yourself. So if you've had some challenges um, with what's going on right now, uh, you can report that and we will take that into consideration when we're looking at stuff. Uh, the first quiz went out yesterday. Ten people have already submitted it as of this recording, so I guess it's working fine. Um, but yeah, it'll be one a week. Open note. Please cite your sources. Please don't you know talk to other people. For the weekly sprint reports um those are going to start next week working with the tas uh you do still need to do the sprint reports and we are going to change it slightly <laughs> where if you did not uh based upon evaluation based upon what the the tas find out if someone is really ghosting we will adjust the sprint scores um accordingly for each 
for each person as necessary. I don't think this one's going to be as necessary, but I wanted to make sure it was an option if we needed it. Uh, same thing with the project. Um, and we will definitely be grading with all of this taken into consideration. Bottom line, you should focus on core features. I mean, if you have time to do the bonus stuff because you just want to, that's great, but you don't really, you, you don't need to stress about it too terribly much. So um, feel free to send a private message um, to me on Piazza if you want me to take a look at your build. Um, send me a message, schedule a Zoom meeting, and we can do that. I'll schedule some more live Q&As. There'll be plenty of opportunity if you want to get my opinion on your app. You just got to let me know, and we can schedule something. No problem, all right? So if you have any questions about any of this, please, please, please let me know. Post on Piazza. Um, we want to make sure everyone knows what's going on, make sure everyone feels comfortable with what's going on. My goal is to make this as fair as possible for everyone while still keeping to the, what, what I would consider the standards of what a course like this should be. Uh, make sure that you're meeting the learning objectives. Um, <clears throat> I've added the credit, no credit symbol to, um, your dashboard. So as you hit the credit or no credits, you should see in C your CR. So if that's helpful for you and I've added it to the XP uh, chart as well. Um, again, uh, really quick from the, from the, the Q and a session, it was a lot of stuff for the architecture managers and then the stuff I just said right here. So I'll go find the stuff for the architect, uh, folks and clip it and post it and get that out for you. So really quickly, then jumping to lecture slide mode, um, Sammy here's going to help me talk about design patterns for just a few minutes and then we'll do something else because you know, that's how, that's how we roll right now. So I have to, Oh man, it did it again. I've got to figure out why it works sometimes and doesn't work others. Oh, again, what is the order to do this? Full camera, lecture slide. Full camera. Is it because you're here? Did you click a button? You didn't click a button? There we go. Okay, so I have to go over and then, then start it off. Okay. You um, have been using frameworks for quite a while. Um, so notion of a framework, partially completed design that can be extended to solve a problem in a particular domain. So we talked about so we talked about, for instance, um, Django is a framework. It's, it's the way that you would go about building a piece of software using some pre-existing ideas. So that's great, but we talked about that patterns and the notion of architectural patterns, the problem that reoccurs and an outline approach solving that problem. Uh, we talked about architectural patterns, basically an accepted solution to a known problem. A design pattern is the same thing as an architectural pattern, except we're typically talking about it in terms of the software itself, not necessarily kind of the high level stuff of architecture. So a good example of this, I'm actually going to jump to the first one because I, I would like to talk about that. Let's talk about global variables. Global variables, not good. Why are they not good? Well, you could have different parts of the system change them. You don't need to change them. It could be a race condition. It's bad design in general. Um, you know, they're not protected in any way. So we've all probably done it. We've all probably said, I need this variable in a bunch of different places. Let me just put one somewhere and see if I can figure it out. So you might try and go do that, but you shouldn't. So let's say we only want one instance of a class and everything in that system needs access to that one class. How could we potentially do that? The solution is called the singleton pattern. What if we made a class that had a single static variable in it? So whenever you needed access to that variable, you would then instantiate that class to get access to that variable. Why is that a better way of doing it than just a global variable? Well, the global variable presumably has no protections on it. Same reason why you write getters and setters. You put protections around a private variable to make sure people don't break it in ways you don't expect. So a singleton class is kind of like doing that, except at the class level. So this is a really common problem. The idea, I need something I can reach everywhere, but here I, I want to be able to put some protections around it. So that's the, that's the singleton pattern. So a design pattern is um, a, a proven solutions to a problem. There's typically a documentation that comes with it that's the design itself. The design is gonna be language independent usually they you know there might be some pseudocode with it and then you want ways where the designer knows how to how to implement it in other ways so 
again, I want to just give you a quick introduction to this, just some basic idea of what we're going to, where, where we're going to be going. Start working on quiz three when I've got a little bit more time to myself. I'll record a little bit more. I'll, I'll keep going on design patterns. Um, thanks for hanging out with us just for a little bit here today. Um, if you were able to join us for the live Q and a, thanks for coming. If you weren't, I'll make sure I get that information to you. Um, yeah. You have anything you want to say to everyone? No, no, he needs a nap. I need a nap. Do you need a nap? I think we all need naps. All right. Should we say bye? Bye. Bye.